Well, as I mentioned earlier, all of you know Debbie, and uh, she had said after our baptism that Greg Cappies did not directly, but just kind of lamenting, like, but she kind of wanted to do it. I said, well, let me know. We'll make it happen. And then I just kind of left it at that, um, because as the Lord leads, then we'll do it. And so then um, we met, I guess, two weeks ago with uh, people who wanted to become new members, um, for at least those who were there that week. And she said, well, I want to do it. I said, okay, well, let me know when you want to do it. And, and at that point, it was still kind of a bit of an eventuality, because I said, you may want to invite family and friends and then whatever. And so I said, we can do it. And I said, I'll go do it right now if you really want to. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, we can schedule it and we'll, we'll do it when you're ready. And we'll, we'll get you baptized. And so then uh, within, I don't know, 48 hours, she's like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> so uh, long and short of it is, here we are. And, uh, and Debbie's going to become a new member as well. And so this will allow her to be a full member as opposed to just being an associate member. We'll take her either way. But uh, this is, is an exciting thing. And we love to baptize people. And baptism is simply just a, a public proclamation of saying, yes, I have decided to follow Jesus. And it's an important thing in my life that I want to share. And I want other people to know that. Uh, I'm not keeping that a private decision. It's, it's a public proclamation of, of I'm choosing to follow Jesus. And, and at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It doesn't, it's not our golden ticket. It doesn't get us into heaven. It doesn't change our relationship with God. But it does show our commitment to that relationship. And so it's an honorable thing. And I'm excited to be able to get to do that with Debbie. And as we do, I have three questions for Debbie. And uh, she has already met and, and chatted with deacons and all of that kind of stuff. And so the three questions, and you can respond as appropriate. Are you trusting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? If so, please respond by saying, Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Lord. That's awesome. And, and if you talk to her for a while, that's apparent. <laughs> and number two. Do you turn away from any known sin in your life, asking God to forgive you of your sin? If so, please respond by saying, I do. I do. And then, do you desire the fullness of God's Holy Spirit in your life, that you may live a life that is pleasing to God in each and every way? If so, please respond by saying, I do. I do. All right. Well, with that, Debbie meets all of the requirements. And Debbie, it is truly my joy and my honor to get to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I don't know if you want to hold on to my arm or what works better for you. Okay, here we go. She's going. In. And we get to and praise Jesus. Congratulations. It's been a joy to have Debbie in our presence. She's Hallelujah! Really and uh, love her cheer and love her heart and love her story. If she ever shares it with you, it's a powerful story. And she kind of shared it. I'm not asking you to share now. I did the condensed version. Yeah, she, she, she gave us some of her story a couple of weeks ago, and it was like, what a powerful work of God. And that's amazing, and praise the Lord. So we're so glad Amen. to have her as part of our church community. And she's jumped right in. She serves on Wednesday nights with the kids, and it's just well, awesome. Love it. We love it. We love you guys it. are awesome, too. Thank you all for coming. Go eat more. Just relax and enjoy. <laughs> Woohoo! Thank and you, God. And there's still room in the hot tub. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs>